I was literally about to say, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, which like I never do, but like I have done it in the past. So like, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Alex. That's it. Today I wanted to share with you my favorite SPF products. This is gonna be like super short and simple, but SPF can be tough and it's something that we all need to wear if you want to keep the wrinkles and sun damage at bay. So, so when I'm searching for SPF, I try to go for skincare brands that I already know and trust because I know that those products that they create work well with my skin. You know, you wanna make sure that you're not using something heavy that's gonna make you like break out or something. So the first one that I wanna talk about is actually the one that I have been wearing like crazy. This is the Tatcha Silken Pore Refi uh, Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35, Broad spec Spectrum SPF 35, I don't know why I can't read right now. Uh, PA++++. It is 5% octosalate. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then 15% zinc oxide. So obviously you are meant to reapply sunscreen. You're supposed to put it on 15 minutes before you are out in the sun so that it has time to absorb and set. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it can like do the opposite if you don't like allow it to do its thing for 15 minutes. Um, it's like putting on oil basically and then like going out in the sun, it sort of like magnifies it. So I don't know. I'm not an expert on SPF, I'm just sharing my faves. Uh, so what I like about this is it's by Tatcha, who is my all time favorite skincare brand. It's basically all I use on my skin besides my like Curology treatment now. It has like a very, um, it's white. Well, it's actually kind of like a light pink. It has a, an incredibly light scent. Uh, it does look very white when you like rub it in. So this could be something that might give you flashback. Uh, I'm never like worried really about like photos and stuff. Yeah, it has an incredibly light scent. It's almost like you can hardly smell it. It's like almost a combination of what you would think a face sunscreen might smell like plus the Tatcha signature scent, you know? But it's, it's almost not even there. Like you really have to like try to smell it. I wear this underneath foundation. I wear it by itself all the time. And like, as you start to rub it in, you see like that white cast goes away, you know? Um, and then it also adds like a really, really beautiful hydration to the skin without feeling too dewy because especially in the summertime, that's when my skin kind of like readjusts. Like in the summer, I tend to be a little bit more oily. I usually will get like a little bit of oil in my T-zone. You might be able to see it's got like a tiny bit of a like healthy sheen. So I'm trying to focus my face. Like it makes my skin look nice and healthy, but it's not oily looking because I know that that is a concern with, with Tatcha because the majority of their products are like so dewy. Uh, so I, I understand that this thing's back. I have an appointment tomorrow. I don't want to talk about it. So this is what I've been using pretty much every single day. I wear it underneath my makeup. It is fantastic. I can guess I can show it on my um, skin. See, so it's like white, but then as I blend it, it just kind of like sinks into my skin. And it, I think it acts as like a really nice primer because it's like, it's like hydrating, but not too much. So it's perfect for summertime. Um, and like I said, no, hardly any scent, but it is expensive. That's the drawback. It's expensive, it's Tatcha, it's like $65 which is crazy. But I mean, I spend money on, I buy that shit. Tatcha doesn't send me stuff. I buy my <laughs> skincare and uh, I think it's worth it. So nice, right? Kind of a healthy glow. Makes your skin look nice with it, with it alone, but I wear underneath foundation. Um, next up is for someone who might want something a little bit more dewy. This is by Dermalogica, another skincare brand that I love. This is the Age Smart Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF. 50 medium weight emollient daily moisturizer with broad spectrum spectrum why, why is that so hard to say spf 50 antioxidant white tea rich blah 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 something something neutralize free radicals blah 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 i like uh dermalogica the one thing about this and it's also spf 50 if you are like extremely well versed in spf can you let me know like every, just sh share your knowledge in the comments down below because i'm like i said no expert just sharing the ones that i like this is also very expensive <laughs> It's also white. The only thing about this is that it is much more dewy and it has a stronger scent. So again, it doesn't smell like sunscreen to me, maybe a little bit. And it feels a lot more like slick on my skin. So it does make my skin feel a little bit more dewy. So I don't know if you can really see the difference. Yeah, I guess you can see right here, like this area of my cheek looks a lot more oily than this area kind of looks a little bit more like dewy and a healthy sheen. So that's the only thing that I don't like love about this. But the reason that I um, do like it is because my skin gets very dry in the winter time. And that's typically when I would use this. Next up, Tizo. 
Photoceutical AM replenished lightly tinted mineral sunscreen ceramides antioxidants C and E. So many things, you know what I mean? Uh, SPF 40, skin firm technology, totally. I started using this because I went and got a facial and the woman who did it recommended this. So she asked me what I was using and I said that it was the Glossier sunscreen and she can't remember honestly why she didn't, I can't remember what she said about it, but she recommended this one. This is $40. Everything will be linked down below, of course. Um, this is $40. I think the Dermalogica one is really fucking expensive too. I do have a, a drugstore dupe for this though. Hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So anyway, this is tinted and they do have one that isn't tinted, which I haven't tried. It's like a pore refining kind of texture. I don't understand why it like, it just loves, the camera loves me. But it's, uh, so it's tinted and it's a little bit darker than my skin tone and a little bit more like on the neutrally side. So when I use it, it kind of makes my face look like a totally different color, but I really like the texture of it. So it's that like pore refining kind of texture. It feels like very silky and smooth. So if you like blend it out enough, you can't really see the color, you know? But sometimes I notice it if I don't like put it all over my neck, it'll look a little bit like different. Or if I use something different on my body, which I typically do, it does do some pore refining, which is good. If you're interested in this one, but you don't want the tint, check out the untinted one. And I'm, I'm probably gonna pick that up because for some reason I bought like three of these, the tinted ones, and I'm like not wild. That's what it looks like when I wipe it off. It's a little bit dark for me, so. Um, but this is a really nice sunscreen and it's another reason that I like it is because it's pore refining. So it kind of gives your skin just like a nice smooth look. It's not gonna make you look oily at all. Where if you are like a very oily person, Tatcha might. The Dermalogica one definitely will. And uh, this one definitely won't. Now my drugstore dupe for this, I do not have on me, but it is the e.l.f sunscreen and I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically exactly the same. It's like the same exact texture. It's also tinted and I used to use that all the time. I fell in love with it. Uh, I ran out and I've just been like kind of, you know, trying different SPFs. So maybe I need to pick it up again, but I'm pretty sure it's still available and I will link that down below as well. It's e.l.f. so it's super cheap. I can't remember how much, but down below. All right, and then finally, obviously we all know that when you have makeup on, it's impossible to reapply sunscreen. So even if you have like a tiny bit of makeup on, like if you just like put a little concealer under your eyes or if you have even just like mascara on or a little bit of blush, it's really hard. You can't, oh, I hit my mic. It's really hard. You can't like just reapply sunscreen. It's not that easy. This thing has saved my life. This is by Kula. I got this at Sephora, I think. This is SPF 30. It's the 70% organic, 70% plus organic. I don't know what that means. Uh, makeup setting spray featuring peony leaf, juniper berry, and phoenix leaf stem cells. What? I don't know. Oh, and, and hyaluronic acid, whatever. Um, Cruelty-free, vegan, non-GMO, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so you shake it well. Basically it's a sunscreen spray. So you shake it up and you spray it on your face when you have makeup on. And uh, that way you can touch up your sunscreen without screwing up your makeup. I have too much gloss on my lips. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. I think it does contain alcohol though. That's the only thing. It says active ingredients. Avobenzone, 2.8%, no idea. Homosalate, 3.5%. Octosalate, octosalate, 3.9%. Once again, all the SPF experts out there, please tell me warnings. Do not use in the presence of a flame or spark. This is great. Basically, it's it's literally just a setting spray. You just like spritz your face and you can like touch up your SPF on the go. I do like it. And what's really nice about this is like while other setting sprays will make your face look dewy or oily throughout the day, like if you're using them to touch up, this doesn't. Again, that's kind of why I think that it contains alcohol. It's not something that I, that I use like all the time. Yeah, I need to look up more about this. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it if I like happen to be wearing makeup and I need to touch up. So it is a really good uh, product. And then they also have a spray that's for your hair and I got it when I went platinum, but I'm never in the sun because I'm like a total vampire. So I've <laughs> literally never used it once, but uh, that's a good one. And then quickly, just because we are making this video, it's in the bathroom, so I'm not gonna go get it. The Fenty Beauty new, uh, it's like a moisturizer with SPF. I really like it. It's like a beautiful silky texture. The only problem is that when I get it anywhere near my eyes, it stings like a motherfucker. Actually, I think this might sting a little bit too. 
so you want to be careful. But these two guys do not at all, which is why I love them. This is why I use the Tatcha ones so much, because you got to protect this area of your face. It's so important. So when SPF stings your eyes, it's like, why am I even using this? You know what I mean? So if you're worried about that, just know that these two and the e.l.f. one in particular do not sting your eyes. And you should close your eyes when you're spraying this. But yeah, so Fenty. Like it's nice, but I wore it the other day when I was out and it just like, I, I had to like wash my face immediately. It was so awful, so uncomfortable. So I can't recommend that one. Sorry, Fenty. If you have any, like I said, if you have any knowledge about SPF and you know like what the best, absolute best products are, or if you have any recommendations, particularly ones that don't smell or have, I don't know, that like thick sunscreeny feel, please leave them in the comments down below. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna go.